Hello gamers and gamers, what is going on? My name is Tanak127 and welcome back to another video. And guys, in today's video I want to talk to y'all about Terrasland. However, if you want to stay up to date with all things Terrasland, especially if they ever make a console version, make sure you are liking today's video and subscribing to the channel if you are new. And let's go ahead and get on into today's topic. So first and foremost, a big disclaimer. I am covering some speculation I have on my own behalf. Okay, this is just a prediction I am personally making. So take this with a grain of salt. Nothing has been confirmed by the developers or anything like that. So if you don't like speculation videos, now is your time to go ahead and click away. However, um, let's go ahead and get and get on into it. So Terrasland is a new um, cross-platform MMORPG that has been developed by Level Infinite. Right now, it is currently on PC and mobile platforms one common theme with these games is sometimes they tend to launch on console platforms as well sometimes developers bring them later on as cash grabs and you know try and save their game make a little last stitch efforts and yada 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 needless to say that all the time you know when they do these like these little mobile mobile and pc now and then console later crash cross platform things it doesn't always work out best especially for the console players because we're kind of like a last ditch effort for them to save their game However, um, the Terrasland developers are doing something very interesting. Now, I do want to preface this already by um, by saying that Level Infinite has already broken... Well, I'm not going to say broken, but has a console promise out there already with a looter shooter they create. I can't remember the name of the game, unfortunately, that was promised to come on consoles almost two years ago now. And they just completely went silent, started ignoring their community about it and, and stuff like that. So... These guys already kind of have a sour taste in my mouth. But like I said, they're doing something interesting that I want to I wanna talk about. So for Terrace Land, they have all kinds of events going on because they just launched the MMO just a few, just a few days ago. Um, congratulations to them on their launch and stuff like that. One of their events, however, is called the Terrace Land Legendary Dungeon Championship. And they have all kinds of esports stuff, players getting involved. You know, they're going ham, egg and cheese, spending money on these events. However, this championship, um, the prizes said something interesting, and I'll show it to you, here, you guys on the screen. It says, participate in the competition for a chance to win an iPhone, PS5, and other generous prizes. Now, you guys are probably thinking, well, Tanek, what does that have to do with the game coming to console? Well, the prizes they decide to go with are an iPhone, a PlayStation 5, and other generous prizes. I'm assuming some of the other prizes are probably things like Android-style phones and stuff like that, because, you know, the game is also available on Google Play, and maybe you know they'll give away some PCs and stuff. Uh, one common thing, especially with these cross platform games, I'm going to give a few examples here in the video, is they only give away platforms that they're either launched on or planning to release on. For example, Pokemon Unite, which is a MOBA exclusive to mobile and Nintendo Switch. Anytime they do a competition where they're giving away platforms and stuff like that to the community the only things you can win are a iphone some type of samsung phone or a nintendo switch do you know why because those are the only three platforms that the game is available on <laughs> same thing when you see the hoyoverse games games like genshin impact honkai star rail soundless zone zero every time they do these competitions it is they give away a ps4 a ps5 an iPhone or some type of Android phone. It's always the same. You don't see the Genshin Impact devs giving out Xboxes. You know why? Because their game's not on Xbox. <laughs> like, do you understand what I'm saying? Pokemon Unite's not going to give away a PS5 because their game's not on it. Now, granted, marketing purposes, this very well could be, you know, a way to say, hey, you want a chance at getting a PS5? Come and play our game. That very well could be the case. But like I said, guys, I never see these developers, especially these guys who make these cross-platform games, give away platforms that, they, that they're not released on or planning to release on. Like I said, this is just my personal prediction. Take it with a grain of salt. It is what it is for right now. And until we get official confirmation from the developers, we'll just have to wait and see what they decide to do. But anyway, guys, let me know what you are thinking down in the comments below. Anyway, y'all enjoyed today's video? Smash that like button. I will see y'all in the next one. Peace out. Have a good one.